Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your ballet blonde, fabulously dressed. to the camera. Hi, I'm Wendy Dent. I'm an Australian filmmaker and a World Economic Forum Young Global Leader and I'm here premiering my film December 25 tomorrow East Coast premiere. December 25, the day of Christmas. Now why did you choose to name it that? Mm, well the context of the film is Christmas but the film is about a lot more than that. It's one minute so I Usually don't say a lot more than that though because uh, I don't want to give too much away. Well, I don't blame you. you more than that though because uh, I don't want to give too much away. Well, I don't blame you. You, you certainly are giving a lot away this <laughs> evening though. I love the dress. Thank Can you. you tell my audience uh, who the designer is of the dress? Oh, it's a secret. I can't. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm going to keep that are one to myself. Are too. you cold? I mean, it's freezing. There are so many lights here. People always say that, I'm but it's freezing. hot. I'm freezing. I'm not hot. Well, I want you to tell my audience, though, where we can go to learn more about this film. Does it have a website? Yes, I have a website, wendydent.com, where you can read all about that Spell and my it. other work. Wendy Dent, W-E-N-D-Y-D-E-N-T.com. Okay. It's a good site. You'll like it. Well, as we say here in America, break a leg, darling. That's good luck. Thank you. Actually, I had broken my ankle just about two That's weeks ago. Good luck. I'm just off crutches. You're right. It's good luck. That's good luck. Now, look at these stilettos, and right? You better be careful. Well, well, there's a way. <laughs> More interviews coming up right here on the red carpet at the Hamptons International Film Festival. Pink champagne kisses. Spears. Ten years ago, this this is what was happening in the Mass Island. But if you produce another book right now, things have really changed. This is a new world where we are. It's been 20 years since I came to Africa to work as a photographer. I dreamt of returning one day to share the photos with the people who made them possible. <laughs> Many had never seen pictures of themselves before. So now you have come here for the second time. I didn't expect her to come back again. That's something marvelous. You cannot believe it. What had changed, I wondered? And what would they think of themselves looking back at the photos so many years later? I used to come here some time ago and take pictures. And so what I'm doing is bringing the photos back. Listen, can you mobilize the others and tell people around the villages? Hello. Children, say cinema. cinema! Cinema! Cinema, what a great show this evening. So it's the first time they've seen a big cinema screen like this. <coughs> they have never seen a cinema here. Kill a killer, 
Did you sleep well? No. Why? Yes, there was a shootout last night in front of the hotel. Shooting? What's going on? Hurry up, hurry up. It's a big problem. Cosmos, where's your tent? Get ready to run. We need to have a plan B. Serious case of heat stroke. No screen, no car. It is dangerous up here. I cannot handle that shit. Balavando, yeah. Like this crazy. Yeah, he has an identity crisis. He doesn't know whether he's New Yorker or Samburu. Everyone was remembering you. And one day, one day, I know she's coming back. Out in the distance, the road seems full of promise. You think you might find paradise in all that emptiness. But I've been down these roads, and I've been to places that feel like the edge of the earth. No part of the world has been untouched. Welcome back, darlings. I'm here with Elizabeth Gilbert. And she's here to talk about her exciting new film right here at the Hamptons International Film Festival. Uh, tell my audience the, na the name of this yeah. film. We made a documentary called The Last Safari, which is showing on Sunday and Monday, uh, Sunday in the Hamptons, and in East Hampton, and then Monday at uh, Sag Harbor. Tell my audience the synopsis. The, the documentary is uh, basically a road movie in Africa, um, and the premise is that I was a photographer in Africa for 20 years, and I wanted to give the pictures I had taken over that time back to the people I had photographed. So to that extent, I rented a cinema screen and traveled it across 2,000 miles of African bush, oh my putting on, uh, movies in remote villages and giving people slideshows. Uh, most of the people in the audiences had never seen photos of themselves before. And I take an unlikely crew of safari first-timers with me, um, a young crew of Kenyans who've never been camping on, or anything like that before, and they are the ones hired to set up the, the speaker system and, and everything. So it's a, uh, it's a journey, it's a very personal journey, and it has a lot to do with change and identity in Africa. And it's really for anyone who's ever been to Africa or thought about Filmmakers, it. Filmmakers, the passion that you go through to make your films is just really unbelievable. And this, of course, is your partner in crime. This is my partner in crime. Yes, yes. Introduce yourself, to director. Uh, Matt, Matt Goldman, Goldman, criminal. Matt Goldman. Well, you guys, this is very exciting. Is this the first time you're showing a film here at yes, the Hamptons yes. Film Festival? What do you think so far of the Hamptons? I know it's the first night, but what do you think? It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. so beautiful. And today the weather was beautiful, and they're so friendly. Everyone's so friendly. And what well, a nice you look like you've been here before. I actually haven't. I mean, I've been to Hamptons once before, but uh, I, I, this is my right. first time actually coming to the Hamptons since. Uh, well, you must come back in yeah, the summer I when it's full season. I know, I, know, I know, it's true. I've been meaning to come here, actually. Now, tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about the film. Does it have a website? There is a website called thelastsafarimovie.com. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. We're, and you're on YouTube? We we're not really on YouTube with the I'm movie. I'm not on YouTube, I, mean, I guess. You don't have the trailer on YouTube? Uh, the trailer is on the on the website. It's through Vimeo. So we, we try to we try to keep it, you know, classy. It's on Facebook. <laughs> Don't Vimeo. say that about YouTube. YouTube, no, no, YouTube is a cute. search engine. No, I know. It's true. So, but Vimeo yeah. is for film snobs. You know, all yeah, the film I snobs know. go to Vimeo. Film snobs. Yeah. Well, good luck, and Thanks. thank you so much for that wonderful interview. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very good. With more interviews coming up right here on the red carpet. Keep watching, darlings. Pink champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe, some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl.
has been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.